everyone, this is Ephraim from here. Welcome back to more Media Pro Checkmate server. Apparently, I'm ranking every set for some reason or other, so whatever. I'm gonna be playing Heraldics since I'm rolling the ladder. Once I get higher up, I'm gonna be playing more serious decks to fight the meta, but for now, I'm just gonna play Heraldics. Come on, anyway. Alright. Products are a really interesting deck. It's really fun. I'm teching in Assault Halberd because I really like him. He's a really interesting card. I'm, all, I'm playing three of these, one Goblin Berg, one or two Rotas. Cost him the Goblin Berg because it's another Rota target. Yeah. Not bad. Set, set, set. These, these are the kinds of fields that Assault Habit loves, because it does inflict that piercing damage. There's an Abra Conway. I'll probably just summon Assault Hubbard and swing. See if I can't get a search off. Because if he wants to use a trap on this, that's perfectly fine by me. He does have something. Let's see what he's playing. Gusto. Cool. Such another halberd. I'll probably make an 18. Put it in defense mode. Gusto brings out... I don't remember what it brings out anymore. I don't remember the exact loop. Eagle. Alright. And Eagle summons another one. I know Gusto's work, I just forgot how they work. I know their main source of power now with Pilika is the Spheres of Decay. Freeze, whichever one it's called. There's Pelika. So he is going to go for this freeze. I would assume. Which will recycle the Pelika. There's freeze. I believe this, yeah, this card can't be sold by battle. Put Pilika back in the hand, that's fine by me. You can't kill us. Oh, you think you're somebody. You think you're somebody. No response. Cool. I mean, I kind of ex I expected him to have a response there, but, you know. Music platter is it just me? I don't know. I mean, he can't. He does have a Pilika, so he can come back next turn. I just, I'm probably just gonna summon Halberd and swing for 4k. I feel like that's my best option. Because he can't summon anything else. Pelik is only once per turn, so he can't eat Telly. I think I'm good. Pelik is once per turn, right? Yeah, he can only use Pelika once per turn. Come on, buddy. Contact with Gusto. Is this the one that pops? Yes, this one pops. So he's popping my face down. Mm -hmm. I run Rhapsody, right? I do in a Rhapsody. 
No, you don't pop 18. That's not... 18 triggers, then. What are you doing? Now just everything triggers. Million Unicorn and Abra Conway. And Search and Amphisbiana. That was his worst possible play. You don't pop that. Sweet a goblin bird. <laughs> I mean, I wrote up, but that's a goblin bird. I'm gonna try and bait that face down. No, okay. Um, I'm going to a grab city then. And if this goes wrong, I have a bottomless, so I don't care. Rhapsody, see if he has a response. A little faster. He does not have a response. So he's going to lose his gold though. Which is his only Pelica target. Yeah. Use Unicorn. Bring back 18. And I could. Upper Conway get back Leo. But no. He really doesn't have anything. Well, what are those three back rows then? One of them's gotta be an e telly, right? It's just gotta be. I don't care what that monster is. This game is one. Abra Conway activates. Getting back to Leo. Memphis Biana discards the Leo to summon itself. Probably just search another Amphi, honestly. Probably summon, summon the Halberd, because it's not a Torrential. I'm almost certain it's not a Torrential. Could very well be wrong. Cool. So now I just swing. And there's nothing that can really go wrong here, because Rhapsody still has a material, I can still make Castel. Which one's that? Is that... That's... Winda. Okay, so the le loop is... Does... Is Goldo Eagle Winda? I guess. I don't... Care if these two attack, I already got my search with Thad, so I'm just gonna spin it with Castell. Spin you. And this, eh, it's not a tuner, but I may as well, may as well banish it. Right? It's not a tuner, so it doesn't matter if he gets revived by Pilika, but banishing all the Gustos is a good thing anyways. So there's no real reason not to set to Angel just in case. And that went great. This duel is pretty boring, honestly, but oh well. Dark Hole, I honestly could care less. 
couldn't care less. However, how do you mean to say it? That's one of those things, you know. It's gonna be on a unicorn. Leo's gonna search you final and Fizbiana. No, I'm a Conway. One of the wind dragon things. I still have a job at Rise and an Emerald, so I'm good. Gonna summon Halberd. Is there a response? No response. Activate you. I'm gonna pitch the final app at Conway, and I'm just gonna swing for game. I'm just assuming he has nothing at this point. Does he have no responses? Seems like it. Ah, you get a person being so slow. But I'm going to try and get another game regardless. As soon as this one ends. That would be his own problem. Because it's been asking me to change cards the entire game. Unless it's some specific card that he's just missing. I don't know. Just take the damn. Like, it's asking him if he wants to activate it. It's certainly asking him to play something now, but I have no clue what's going on there. Anyways, let's go find another game. And I'm back. Rating's a bit higher because recording screwed up on that second duel. So, didn't miss much. Easy win. Now we wait. Oh, we got one. Got another one. Not a great hand at all. Opening, opening like this is terrible. Set, set, pass. And let's see what he's got. A Galaxy Cyclone hits the MST. Zephra. One, sc one scale. This card is pinned along some of the cards into the graveyard. You can target a card in your place from the return to the hand. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Set one. Thankfully I'm I'm I am also playing Galaxy Cyclone, which easily deals with Zephra. Or it helps in dealing with Pendulum decks, I should say. Kind of figured it was the barrier they had. Just 
is kind of weird considering he didn't have this in the X deck yet, so I don't really see why he activated. Activated. I'm gonna set Avarice. See if I can bait him to hit it, so I can keep the Phoenix Chain just in case he has the another destruction card. Because Drum Avarice right? is doing nothing for me this time. This is actually the third game in the in a row that I've opened the one John Rappers I play. Which is crazy. So there's no way he's playing Pure Zephra. Right? I mean Pure Shadow with just the Zephra guy. People don't do that, right? So this is gonna be some kind of Yang Zing or a Zephra. It's a doll! I'm not gonna pop this yet because he does play the barrier. Zephyr song. Could he just be playing dolls with the scales? No, it's gotta be Zephyr. Just with so, some shadows because Wind is so amazing. Oracle of the Zephyr, so which is a another fusion material, I would guess. Is that the Necklace one? It is? Scale of 7. Pendulum summoning what? This. Oh, one face up. So he's gonna pop out Conway. Could have stopped that, but uh, I think he's going to doll fusion. A construct. This gets an effect, doesn't it? Special summon one. That's, that's not very good. He's got a hedgehog in the grave. I believe this summons from the hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish in the construct. Because I don't want that resolving. I don't know Zephyr very well yet, so you have to forgive me. It's a burn man! Potential Star Reader plays? I mean, he could sink into Star Reader to recover his fusion. Yep, that's what he's going to do. I need to give it that Balco. Wait, what? He didn't get back his fusion. I just need a top deck of heraldic. It can be it could be any heraldic. It could. That's a fiendish chain, it's not good enough. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and Pop his scale. Because the field spell does nothing right now. I'm not worried about the field spell at all. I'll finish chain the Falco. Let this die. This will be live. I can shoot a Woody. Falco. Now, as long as he didn't top, de top deck an L, I should be fine. Fine, good. He's going to kill Amphi, and Arts is going to be live. He could go into a 6 here. Goyo would be devastating. Horus. Ooh, I think I lose. Pendulum monster, yeah, Pendulum monster chooses one monster to control and gives control of it. Wow, I forgot this card actually had a good effect if you use a Pendulum. And this searches, but that didn't matter either way. Didn't say top picks one. 
Yeah, two zone monster from your deck, place it on top of your deck. So it didn't matter had I popped this or not. Metaphys Holder's Dragon. That's pretty legit. Shadow Telonite, Sephra. Hmm, I'll have to look into the deck a bit more. I don't know it very well in all honesty. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching as always. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care everyone. Bye-bye.